Hello, I'm Matt Ingram with Ingram Technology. We are an IT solutions provider in Clarksville, Tennessee. Today I'm going to show you how to monitor free PBX with Zabbix. Now, I love networking. It's just one of my favorite things to do, and Zabbix is my favorite. I've been using it since about 2.0, and I use it to monitor my customers, network switches, servers, firewalls, etc. With Zabbix, you usually monitor with an agent or SNMP, but with the 5.4 release, we can now monitor HTTP. So we can use Zabbix to monitor the Asterix Manager interface, or AMI or AMI, however you want to say it. Now, I have been monitoring Asterix long before this feature was released, but you had to run some shell scripts and send the data to the server with the Zabbix sender. It was complicated. We don't have to do any of that anymore. You will need to open two TCP ports on the firewall, 5038 and 8088. And of course, I recommend you restrict these ports to the IP address of your Zabbix server or proxy. Zabbix has a nice web page explaining how to monitor Asterix, but I couldn't find anything you know, specifically with FreePBX. Therefore, that's why I said, hey, great idea for a video. Although uh, free PBX is built on top of Asterix, they do do a few things differently, and you will need a template on, the, and they have a link for that on their their website. So I'm not going to show you how to do that. All right, next we're going to log into our free PBX server. Go to settings, Asterix manager users, and we're going to add a manager. So you can call it whatever you want. We'll call it Zabbix is fine. And we need to add the IP address to our Zabbix proxy or server. And we are going to give it just a 255.255.255.255 subnet so that it's only that one IP. And we're going to go ahead and hit submit and then we'll need to apply config. Alright, once uh, FreePBX is saved, let's just open this back up. We're going to need this password here. So, you can make it whatever you want. I just leave it randomly generated. And we are going to go and add a new host. So, Zavix configuration host, add host. And we'll just call this uh, phones dot test dot local and we need to give it an interface we'll just say 192.168.1.50 now you should install an agent on your free pbx server um, free pbx is on version 7 of, you know, of a red hat clone so the latest agent you're going to be able to install is the 5.0 rate agent but it's fine. It, it works just fine. Now let's go to templates and we're going to just search for asterisk and there's asterisk by HTTP. Now we'll go to macros and we're going to go to inherited and so our username is already Zabbix and now we do need to change the URL. So said it was dot fifty and then this got me we want to take off that asterisk and we just want slash raw man all right and the next thing we need to do is change our secret and we'll go back to free pbx and we're going to copy that and we'll paste that there and then we can just go ahead and add so now it's it's added this test one. Okay, so obviously, if, if you couldn't tell already, I just created a, a dummy host in Zabbix. This, this doesn't go anywhere. But I will show you my latest data. This has been running for, I don't know, several months. I've been meaning to do this video for a while. And you can get all the stats for your, uh, for your free, free PBX server. Now I like to graph mine in Grafana and you can see I got one call yesterday. I 
I've never been able to get this scale right. I have tried and tried, just finally gave up and just clicked in my mind that, you know, half is one. But it's uh, really cool, you know, help you keep track and you can see, you know, your call volume throughout the day. Uh, Zabbix and FreePBX, has, I have used a lot, and this is just a small way I can give back to the community. Um, do the like and subscribe thing. if, if <laughs> I'd appreciate that. I don't have very many videos. Hopefully I can do some more. If you have any comments, just put them in the comment section, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.